as a start, I would say that there are many opportunities in shared care, and I think that um, very frequently in the uh, organization in which I work, we, we recognize that we have our strategic objectives, but we also recognize that communities of general practitioners have their ideas about what is important in their communities. So I'd suggest that they, they actually have a lot of organizational knowledge as well as intimate knowledge about what's going on where they work. And, um, and we try to align goals. So when, when we can see that their goals are aligned with our goals, that's when we have an opportunity to create a partnership and uh, do something that's meaningful for them and also for their patients and, of course, our patients. We have several accelerated uh, integration fund uh, situations that we're uh, you know, investing our time in and our resources in. Specifically, the one that I'm most familiar with is Breathe Well, which is an, ini which is an initiative uh, that we're uh, doing to support our patients with uh, COPD. And uh, we're able to uh, bring resources together and um, improve their well-being, but also to uh, invest in uh, physician resources in terms of um, increased organizational knowledge about what actually exists out there. We wrap uh, primary care resources around the, uh, the patient-physician uh, dyad and, um, and that's, a, that's a way of uh, further enhancing and empowering that uh, relationship that GP has with their, uh, with their patient. We've also had uh, opportunity to uh, uh, participate in a practice support program that, um, that builds that operational knowledge for not only the general practitioner, which, is the, which you know, we see as central to the core team, but also too for the other partners who uh, participate in the care for those patients. Our health authority is organized into, uh, into programs. And uh, the program of primary care is, uh, is, a, is a program that supports primary care practitioners. But of course, there's a lot of community programs that are linked with the work that we do specifically. And I'm, you know, I don't want to forget anyone, but obviously uh, mental health, home health, uh, and geriatric uh, programs support all the work that we do in the community. And of course, we also have relationships with acute care as well. And so all of our specialist colleagues um, you know, have uh, you know, relationships with uh, acute care facilities and where those opportunities exist, then we would link with those programs as well. So there's, there's several different layers of organization and uh, there's opportunity for strategic investment for us and that's, that's, what, that's what we do. Well, you know, I, it's, uh, it's such an eye-opener. It's such an eye-opener for me to see the other health authorities work. I was really appreciative of seeing all the ways that they had uh, built some of their systems, but more, most specifically, that they um, they saw they were seeing things through a different lens than I'd otherwise recognized, and I'm I'm am recognizing that we have opportunities that we have not yet um, availed ourselves to, and I think that one of the things that I'm going to do probably I can't remember when the next meeting is, but we have an interdivisional meeting, but I'll be speaking to all the divisional leads about. Uh, shared care and about some of the opportunities that they might want to uh, partner with us in, in terms of a good way to move forward. So I'll be sharing that message and trying to uh, spread it throughout the organization using the divisions uh, uh, at the interdivisional meeting, but also at the CSCs where we have uh, partnerships with uh, communities of physicians.